Okay, let's start selling some stuff to you. I don't need that. I don't think I'm going to be using that axe at any time in the future. And um, while the the shotgun, the double barrel here, is kind of nice, um, I think I'm going to get rid of that. I don't really need it. All right. What else do we have? Get rid of that. You don't want to buy my human flesh? Come on, man. Everyone wants human flesh. I thought that was a thing. Uh, you can have all this purified water. Not like I'm going to be using it anyhow. And why don't you take three of these? There we go. And we'll head over here to my ammo. Actually, you know what? Is there anything in my miscellaneous to sell to this guy that I'm interested in selling? Mm, not really, other than yeast. But I'm going to keep that for the moment. I'll sell a few of these missiles here. I don't need to sell many. Three should be more than enough for me, because I don't really care about taking all of his money. I gotta go. Be careful out there. Them swamp folk is nasty. Yeah, a little bit. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Hello, swamp folk. <laughs> like I said, I can take care of myself. Alright. Well, this is not the house I was looking for. Kind of curious to see if we can find the overturned delivery out here, which I imagine is a truck or something. But not what I'm looking for either. I don't think there's been a truck going by here in a long time considering these tires being around here. I don't even know if I'm going to find anything like that out here. Oh, more buff out to sell later. I don't really care about taking too much of the uh, punga fruit. I will, however, take any ammo. That's uh, just a mine box. I don't even care if this breaks. That's nothing I want. Could set up some mines for these guys. You know what? Why not? <laughs> Why not? We don't use mines all that often, and now seems like a good time to uh, to get it prepared. There you go, guys. Have some mines. Hey. How you doing? Like grenades. Uh-oh. Well, luckily, autosave works pretty well, because uh, we're just coming out of here. But, um, game crashed, of course. Fantastic. Just what I was hoping wouldn't happen. Now we can just kill this guy again, I guess. You didn't come last time. Got anything good on you? I'll take those. Alright, well. 
need to start quick saving more often with the fact that uh, sometimes things go awry. Hey, buddy. You are definitely not as strong as uh, your friends are. Yeah, I don't really need that. Alright, I still want to see if, uh, if that uh, overturned truck or whatever it is is around here. I've been trying to get over here to see it. I don't know where the other guys came from that were over here, but there was some somewhere. All right, let's take this stuff all over again. A little bit of that, a little bit of this. Okay, and leave the top shelf thing because I don't really care. I got something better for you. Looks like all of his friends decided to join in. Holy crap, these guys are hitting me hard. Dang. These guys are pretty dangerous. I'll take those. I'll try to break into this thing again. Oh, it broke. I don't care. Doesn't even matter to me wasn't that important anyhow but yeah these guys really do a number on my health They're pretty powerful all right I am going to eat some of this stuff guess I might as well start picking up a few more of those again okay looking for an overturned truck or something around here I guess they don't like me running around in this mask either. I figured I would look more like them, but uh, apparently they don't believe in that kind of thing. Hey, what's this? This isn't uh, the house, is it? Probably not, but you never know. Hey, Tyre, how you doing? Marguerite Shack, huh? Probably not the place that I'm looking for. There's something moving right uh, no! I heard something. <laughs> yeah, I'm hungry. No! Are you hungry? Are you hungry for claw to the face? Because I got plenty of that for you. Actually, I'll take that jet. And on top of that, I am going to, uh, to use some of that jet. And then I am going to head over here, repair that as much as possible, and let's use this. Because why not? Damn, that thing can really do some damage when it's full. Alright, let's go after this guy. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Damn. Rocking. All right. 
Yeah, I might want to start using some medics while I'm out here. I guess I'll put that thing away. I don't think anyone's coming after me any longer. This is a moonshiner shack, so this is probably not anything I'm looking for. My, my, look at you. Uh huh. Well, it doesn't look like there's much of anything here that I want, but she's one of the very few swamp people that doesn't want to eat me. Let's see here. Moonshine still has several loose fittings and some corrosion, but could be repaired with sufficient skill. Let's leave it for now. You ain't have the look of a local, son. Not really. Think you could help a sick woman get on the man? Uh, like mending your moonshine thingy? Sure, I could probably do that. You're sick? What's the matter? Reckon it's the orange fever. I do feel light in my head. You mean you're not drunk? <laughs> Alright, let's see here. I've treated enough illness to know there's no such thing as orange fever. Now that is just an awfully rude thing to say, sweetie. They're faking. We both know it, so let's just cut to the chase. Well, I... Oh, fine. Maybe you're no hog's fool, but I reckon we both come out better if you can help me cook up some tonic. How do you talk without moving your lips? <laughs> oh, boy. Let's talk about this tonic. Secret family technique. Been so for generations. Help me brew some up by gathering ingredients. I'll share the batch to make it worth your while and sweeten the deal with 300 caps. What is this stuff anyway? Tell you what, have a bit. This is left over from an old batch, but should be a swig or two there. More than enough to loosen you up, I'll wager. Moonshine, eh? Okay, I'll bite. What do we need? This and that. Let me know when you want to work out the details. Here still could uh, stand to be fixed up. Could it now? I suppose you'd know how to see to that, wouldn't you? I'll get it working like new, but I want 200 caps. I reckon you've got a deal, sweetie. But I better notice a difference in the tonic. Sure, why not? Let's repair that. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? The moonshine still is old, but in the best possible condition for its age. Thanks for mending the still, sweetie. For this fee... The tonic had better taste like honey, though. Eh, don't worry about it. It's just free money to me. I want to know more about you, Marguerite. Why, well, I'm just folk. What more is there? There's more. What do you think of Point Lookout? Things aren't wonderful, but I reckon it's hard all around. My family's lived here about since whew, well before the war, and I reckon we'll be here a long time yet. Why'd you fake being sick? <laughs> Here, I thought you were a quick one. Look, sweetie, I reckon you'd have shot me as soon as you walked in here if you weren't a kind soul. Or at least an enterprising type. Did you build that still yourself? That old thing's been in my family for years and years. Well before the bombs, there was a time folks couldn't get no tonic by law. And my family did okay helping them get what they needed. So what you're saying is this is a prohibition kind of thing. Just like I thought. Let's change the subject. I thought you'd never ask. Uh-huh. All right, well, I'm ready. Let me know what you need for your tonic. There are too many ingredients, but I brew large batches, so we need a good bit of each. Uh-huh. We'll need a pung of fruit. Thought as much. And some fission batteries. Uh-huh. For that extra little kick. Really? So, how do batteries work for an extra kick? You best keep this one to yourself, sweetie. The family tonic gets real kick from our secret ingredient. We need just a little bit of battery acid. Ah. Uh. Oh, don't look like that now. 
You reckon I'd be around to tell you about it if it weren't safe enough? I guess. Bring me six fission batteries and I'll scrape them into the mix. So what about the punga fruit? Because I'm sure I can get that pretty easily. Punga fruit and lots of it. The stuff those loonies make at the church is best. Ten of those will do, but might cost you. Wild fruit will do the trick, but you'll need twice as much of it. Well, how much is twice as much? Yeah, ten from the growers at the cathedral oh. or twenty wild ones. Okay, I see. I see what you said there. All right, I've got the yeast with me, I think. I see. Thank you kindly for these. Perfect. I guess you only needed three. Well, I gotta go. Don't be a stranger now. Twenty punga fruit should be very easy to scrounge up. There's plenty of that stuff everywhere. I'm sure I'll find uh, find lots of it very quickly. And these guys have yeast on them already. If you were hurting for yeast, there's a way to get it. I figure that yeast might be of some kind of use, considering that there was so much of it around here. Not so sure about the harmonicas, though. I think that might be a little bit useless. Unless you want to play with the locals, I suppose. And, of course, finding punga fruit now is difficult. <laughs> I found one! Yes! Alright. What in the hell is going on back here? This place is crazy. Anything good in here? Just an outhouse. And a random garden gnome with motorcycle gas tanks and irons. I don't quite understand if that's meant to be a reference or if that's just random. Probably just random. Alright. What do we got around here? Now that I'm actually looking for punga fruit, finding it is a little bit more difficult. Isn't that just the way things are? You want something and then you just can't find it. And I know that I saw some batteries before, but I'm pretty sure I never picked up any. Because they're heavy. And I didn't really want to be lugging around batteries for no good reason. I can always smack that Protectron around and grab his battery if I really need it. There's always plenty of ways... Oh, hey. To get what I want. Someone's shooting at me. Swamp ghoul, huh? One on you. One on you. One there. A smuggler. Gotcha. I <laughs> love that mask. Hey, smuggle buddy. You enjoy that. Man, there's a lot of you suddenly. Oh, one more, I suppose. That should work on him. Looks like the first one worked anyway. Maybe I can find some, uh, some batteries from these guys. Guess we'll find out soon enough. <laughs>